Hello there guys, my name is Jag and Peter Wolf and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So, what are we doing today in what looks like to be a modded world because of the skybox? Well, today we are looking at a new Devil Driver transport ship that I have created. Now it won't be in the um it won't be in the workshop currently because I still wanna do another variant of the actual ship. But here it is. Now I did show you this uh, a few days ago and uh, I had no name for it. So I'm actually calling it the Stealth Personnel Carrier, which is an SPC. So this doesn't actually have any nickname currently. Um, however, I do have a few in mind. And so do you guys. Uh, one of you guys actually uh, said to call it uh, something in regards to penguins because it reminds them of a penguin from above. But as you can see, it's got a new paint job of like a crimson red and black. Um, I've kind of done some sort of stealthy colours in terms of just going with dark colours. But this is the finished product of this ver like version of it. I'm looking to do a medical version of it because it is so spacious. And I could probably kit out the uh, inner sections like that. Now, you guys are actually asking about having the Redeemer as a sort of health version um, or you know well a uh, you know, uh, medical version I'm actually gonna look back into the Redeemer stuff because I think I'm gonna try and stick with for now the transport ships until I get bored with them so this thing it, it literally comes packed with features um, again when I produce the other variants which will be a completely different color and everything um, it will have a lot a lot of strange features on it, purely de like dedicated to, uh, you know, medical things. So it will have a medical bay and things like that, beds and things like that, but a few more things as well. So we're going to sort of give this a bit of a, an, the exterior an overlook at the moment, and then we'll go inside. So at the back, I was very curious as to what to do with the back. And it's very flat on these sides, but I've actually added two... Sage engines at the back, and I think they look quite nice there, and they give it a bit of extra propulsion to move forwards, and it's kind of staggered just to break up the ship a little, so it doesn't look like you know one smooth, consistent shape, and that that also serves a purpose for some of the features inside the ship. So I have taken a few things of your guy, of you, like you know your guys' suggestions on board. And what I've actually done is I've actually started to use the Eccles. Is it Eck? Extras or something like that. I've basically been using his mods. Um, where is it? Eckers's decoration mod pack, and this adds like things like beds, bunk beds, and I can use the majority of these things inside small ships, as long as they're big enough. Because these actually maintain the size; they don't scale down. So I've had to keep them as they are. But I've got two sort of storage racks here that allow me to keep the items that I require in here. Um, then of course we've got the staircase which uh, folds up as per usual. So that goes up really nicely and neatly. Um, I've actually altered the windows to make these splay out both ways and added some lights in. Now I do actually have my light turned off but if I turned it on it gets slightly brighter but you can still see very well in this ship with your lights turned off so you can conserve power while wandering around the ship. Now, bear in, bear in mind that this ship does not actually have gravity of its own currently. The medical version will have it, but the whole idea of the ship is that people can, you know, well, people can, let's say, sit down and then that's it. That, 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 that's what they're doing unless they really need to get out of their seats for whatever reason. Um, there may be, I may actually add a gravitational, um, a grav gen into this somewhere just so we can produce our own gravity wall in deep space. Um, but we come in here and we have like a lovely red lit room, which just, uh, the red lit rooms are sort of denoting where the important sections are that only sort of vital crew members are allowed in and of course we've got the guns again which if I tab as I showed you before you can fire the cannons from this which have stupid stupid freaking firepower on them uh, so that's basically this I've already showed you most of the features again with the uh, storage co uh, the storage containers here that keep all the ammunition and things in um, so if we close that back up behind us now We've got again that storage at the bottom which you can just access and dump stuff in. But as you can as you come up here we have plants now. Now I did actually get um I did I did get, you know, given some suggestions of using the plants from the 
Ekusta's decoration pack and it's it, it really does add something. I don't know what it adds, but it adds like a, a nice homely feature and especially with these large windows on the sides. It just adds like a nice meeting area and I've actually called this section the meeting room because this is where people just meet up and talk while the ship is, you know, while the ship's loading up and things. And then in this back room, I've again these are where the two engines are, so you can fix them from in here. So if you did lose the wings, you can still get forward propulsion. Um, we have like a little seat in area here where a guy could uh, sit and work away and do what he needs to do as a co-pilot and just you know monitor things. So that is in there. That's sort of tucked away at the back. Now we do have uh, like some. W I've basically tried to make this like a mini bar feature where you can sort of stand and prop yourself up against it if you wanted to stand up. And then we've got this like really nice railing here. They don't have like a full railing that swoops around like that, so I just had to you know improvise a little bit with that. Uh, but it looks really nice, I think. And I like the little pillars I've added as well. And again, the lighting just makes it a bit homelier a bit more lived in as well so we come down here now all these sections have been kitted out with their appropriate chairs and everything as I showed you before but I've actually added a cool lighting system in so we have the floor lights here that will come on um, when the ship is like in flight mode so when people want to sleep on night flights and things or you know I have a button inside the cockpit that turns off all the lights here as well the reading lights for takeoff and then I have a one to control all the main lights coming down here so I've got some controllability over the passengers and what they do so if we actually go into the cockpit now we do have this section now, there's a few green lights in here and I'll show you what those are in a second um, but in here we have controls for the uh, for the um, the comms so we can turn on the beacon and we can turn on the uh, antenna and then again we've got these like seating areas where the co-pilots can sit they don't actually have control if I go K we don't actually have control over thrusters there it's only this seat that has control over thrusters so you know it's it's just adding a bit of security for the pilot now this is the light system I'm on about so if I hit this one that turns all the reading lights off and um, if I hit that one it turns all those off and if I hit this one it turns on all these lights at the bottom and what these lights are is it's just like reading it's like a like a mellow light that is on for when people are trying to get some sleep you know I mean there'll probably be a bit of light seeping through this but it's considerably darker in there to allow people to sort of you know get some rest while the flight is uh, on a bit like the uh, new Dreamliner if anyone's seen the new Dreamliner or flew, flown on it I actually f flew on it um, this year to uh, Dominican Republic and it was amazing they actually had like lights that came on that helped with uh, sickness and things and that's where I got the idea from of having separate lighting that come up on the floor I may change the colour of them but uh, for now I reckon they're pretty nice for, for you know for what they do they just light up the floor show where you need to go in case of an emergency and you know just it's proper like an airline so if we sit in this seat now if I hit three it does this now as you notice it turns off the power as well and that basically states it's basically just an on and off switch and an indication that the engines are on so we know you know the pilot knows do I have power are the reactors working so it's you know it's just it's just there just so he is he knows straight away that his engines are on or off and um, we do have cameras in this uh, if I actually go into this seat here we have um, camera 3 which allows you to see if anyone is coming down that hallway and who it is so if you don't want to turn your head for whatever reason oh my god uh, better not do that so if you don't want to turn your head for any reason you can look down that camera to look down right down here and then we'll actually get into a takeoff maneuver now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit 7 to unlock landing gears now just to double check that we are unlocked and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 9. Now 9 is going to bring up my landing gears. And what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to hit 5. Which will show if the bottom scoop has gone up. And we can see if anyone's tried to get on last minute and things like that. So if I actually hit number 4 now. We can see if we are taking off how close we are to the floor. I actually think camera 5 is a bit better for doing that. But uh, if we bring the landing gears back down. I'm actually thinking of maybe adding a few more cameras on just so we can see if the landing gear is down or not but as you can see you can see them coming out of the side quite nicely and uh, you can also see that this comes down which is a good indication that 
everything is coming down just just nicely so we do have our landing gears out now which are a bit faster I have up the speed a little tiny bit just to uh, help improve landing times because you know the ship will be moving around from place to place and we'll have to get there fairly quickly so it doesn't want to take an age landing so if we pop her back down again uh, steady oh my god okay and if we hit six there we go so she's locked in place now I better not tweak the mouse while I'm in the cockpit or else I'll break something and that is basically the ship uh, there's nothing more I can really say about it than that I mean the, the amount of features it's got I, I like to think is is good um, it has uh, its its capabilities and as I said it's like a stealth a stealth personnel carrier so what it does is it is designed to take very important people through the galaxy defend them while it while it goes you know with its crew and the four sets of guns it's got it's got the two on the top and two on the sides there and it's just designed to get there and you know it's it just it just needs to keep under the radar as it's flying and you know that sort of thing that's that's what I like to think it would do for sort of you know the DDC or the Dev Driver Contracts Corporation and uh, I think that's literally all I can show you guys I really hope you um, liked what I've added um, I hope you like the colours. Again, it won't be on the um, workshop for a while yet because I'm going to do the other version. But I just wanted to show you guys the finished first version of it. And, you know, I just really hope you guys liked what I've done with it. And if you do have any suggestions, I will still be taking suggestions to add stuff to this. Just make sure it's not too drastic. And, you know, any ideas on colours, paint jobs and things like that point me in the right direction of some links if you have any to show me what you mean and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video so if you guys have enjoyed this please like favorite and of course subscribe for more and I'll see you guys later Bruce